Grade 7 math number 9.4a, surface area of a prism. The surface area S of a solid figure is the sum of the area of all its faces or surfaces. So to find the surface area of this cube, we'd need to find the area for the top, the bottom, and all the sides going around. A net is the unfolded figure, and we can use it to find the total surface area. Just for one cube, there's 11 different combinations of nets. This square could be, you know, off on the side. This is just one way that a net could look if it was opened up, unfolded, okay? So, the formula for the surface area of a prism is S equals pH plus 2B, and that means surface area equals perimeter times height plus 2 base, 2 times the base. We can use this formula to find the total surface area of a figure. For a rectangular prism, we can also use S, which is surface area, equals 2 times the length times the width, 2 times the length times the height, and 2 times the width times the height added together to get a total sum. All right, so that would be okay to use for rectangular prism. We could also use that for rectangular prism, but that's a good formula for just a prism, so it could even be a cube, couldn't it? All right, so here's a box, and to find the total surface area for this box, we are gonna follow this formula. So the first thing we need to do is find the perimeter, and that's this orange line right here. It's the perimeter. It's the measure of the edge of the box. It's 12 inches, because that's 12, and 8 inches on this side, so 12 plus 12 plus 8 plus 8 is going to give us our perimeter. 12 plus 12 is 24, 8 plus 8 is 16, 24 and 16 is 40. Now we need to multiply that by the height, and the height is 4. 40 times 4 is 160, so that's the first part of the formula, the P times the H. Now we need to do the two bases. So 8 times 12 or 12 times 8 is 96. That's one base multiplied by 2 is 192. So the two base is 192. We add that to the 160 and we get 352. Now let's try this formula. I've recopied it here. Surface area is 2 length times width. Well, the length was 12 and the width was 8. So that's 96. 2 times 96 is 192. 2 times the length times the height. Well, the length was 12 and the height was 4. So that's 48 times 2 is 96. And then 2 times the width times the height. Well, the width was 8 and the height was 4. So that's 32. 2 times 32 is 64. We add up the, 90, the 192, the 96, and the 64, and we get 352 square inches, the same as the other formula. See? Either formula worked, and we got the same answer. Now look at this figure. It looks like a stick of butter. Can you see the perimeter right here on top in orange? So this is 6 centimeters long, 2 centimeters wide, and 2 centimeters high. And to find the total surface area for this prism, we're going to use this formula. So, surface area is going to equal the perimeter times the height plus the two bases. Here's a net of what it looks like, and here's the perimeter, and then you can see the height would be right here. It would be any one of these little, small, two-inch height sections here. See? The perimeter would be 6 and 6 and 2 and 2. 6 plus 6 is 12, 2 plus 2 is 4, 12 plus 4 is 16, so we know the perimeter is 16. Now we have to multiply it by the height, and the height was 2. 16 times 2 is 32. So now, there's the 32. Now we have to do 2 times the base. Well, the base is the length times the width. 6 times 2 is 12. We have two of those for 2b, and that's 24. Now we just add the 32 and the 24, and we get 56 centimeters squared. Now, there's another way we could have done this, and it wouldn't have involved a formula, really. It would have just involved common sense. Now, it's really important that you know how to use this formula. 
because as we progress in math or geometry, you're going to need to know how to do this. You don't want to get stuck in a rut of just doing baby math. But the baby math way of doing this would have been to just find what the area is for like the top. 6 times 2 is 12, so the area of this top would be 12. And then do that 4 times, 12 times 4. And we do the 6 times 2, which is 12, and then the 12 times 4 for each of the four parts of the sides would have been 48. And then one side, this little square, would have been 2 times 2, which is 4. And then the other side would have been 2 times 2, which is 4. And we could have put those together to get 8 and then added them together. So this is kind of the baby way of doing it without a formula, okay? You want to do it the adult way the mathematician way so that your mind is more open to using formulas like we're going to in the future, okay? But that would work. You'd get the right answer. You'd get 56 centimeters squared, okay? So we're going to talk about other surface areas and we're going to talk about surface areas of composite figures in the next video, 9.4b. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter now. See you next video. Bye.